I made this for you. <laughs> it's a friendship bracelet. Because you're my best friend. Because it's iconic. And I love to do iconic shit. yours anyway a bite of my eye When I snap, it's fucking gay. You said how I got your address? Don't even worry about that, bro. on you. Wait, what? I have to crush you. What? Get 
this. His suicide note was stuck to the fridge with a cookie monster magnet. All he wrote on it, Nicole's fault. I'm Nicole, by the way. Hi. What the f*** did I do to him? There was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was a Billy O.T. The winds blew hard, her bow dipped down. Below my bully boy. I say disco, you say party, disco, disco, party, party. I say disco, you say party, disco, disco, party, party. Solo. creator. Tag the person I copied. I dare you. Shining down on me. Moon, tell me if I could send up my heart to you. So when I die. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. I wanna make your heart beat wrong like roller coasters. I wanna be a good girl. I wanna be a gangster. Cause you could be, be the, the beauty, beauty and I could, could be, be the monster. My patience is waning. Is this entertaining? Your patience is waning. Is this entertaining? I, I, I. Feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? 
Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. Make the skin color your favorite color. The eye color the color of your birthstone. The hair color should be the color of your shirt. If you wear glasses at a third eye or like just another set of eyes, if your favorite animal has horns, add horns. Or if they have wings, then add wings. If you wear earrings, add those. And everything else is really up to you. Oh, and if you happen to be an artist, draw your monster. Anybody get together can serve as a fun first time. Mm -hmm. I would have thrown a bigger one, but I couldn't convince Belfagor to let me break into her stash of party drugs. So fucking lame. I mean, I usually just steal them, but Belle changed the locks. She says I'm a total jackass for trying, but hey, I'm proud to be a total jackass. <laughs> anyway, yeah, B, this is Loda. Loda, this is my girlfriend, B. Nice to meet you, bitch. Oh, this is... She's hot. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, Tex, you didn't tell me she was hilarious. That's so funny. Right. I love that that's the first thing you say to me. You don't give a shit how freaky you come off, and that's fucking beautiful.
Just trying to get myself out of bed Thoughts messing up my rest Whopping my happy for my dread My mind's all twisted What if I get it all wrong? What if I grow old? Never reach goals, never really heal my heart You've got to stop thinking That all of this was your fault You just need help to mental wealth Before it gets too poor But you see, look Everybody else is fine Everybody else just smiles Everybody else just lies. 
Everybody else denies all the problems they will hide to just make it through their lives. If you could think less, you could be more than you think. You would sink less. Keep yourself afloat from the brink. And if you need help, then first just look with it. The first thing that will come for you is not them, it's this. Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to create these type of clothes that I made for Ramshackle which is practically cardboard claws. What you're gonna need is to search up the tutorial how to make dragon claws, and then you'll make a dragon claw. I already cut mine exactly here, cause this allows it to move better like this. So then you can see it actually moves better, so you can actually use your fingers more freely, and this way it'll just work something like this in the end. So unlike these claws, we're going to be making this silver part, and that red thing is pretty much this thing. I just pasted on the top there like that to give it that extra spike so it looks like a spike or something, but you can do whatever you like. So now you're going to trace and cut out the claw shape you want, and you're going to paste it on like this with glue gun. So I don't really think glue is going to work for this, but glue gun works best. You can try whatever you like, but you can make it out of cardboard or cardboard boxes, cereal boxes, whatever you have. I pretty much just recycle, so yeah. Just paste it on like that as you want it, and make sure you make one for each side. Make sure to push your finger in before the glue dries, otherwise you might not be able to get the size of your finger inside, otherwise it just won't work. So. Yeah, be sure you're going to sacrifice your fingers because of the heat, but either way, it's worth it. Now, what you can do to fill up the gaps that you might see, I used glue gun, but you can also use like this one. I used paper and pasted it all around the nail like this for my first time. So obviously, I now have a better method with glue gun. So it just makes the nail look more cleaner in the end of the day. So yeah, just fill in the places with glue gun if you like whatsoever. It just helps yeah now you should have your own claws you can customize and paint whatever you like they look like this I know the glue looks terrible but that's why you paint it over so then you can actually have it and I mean look how easy it is to move about I love these type of claws so yeah you can now customize it as you like they are very strong as well so yeah Hope you enjoy! By the way, just to show you how these guys turned out, I made them for my 200k and they turned out something like this. So there's the glue, all those places, I added fins on the top, yeah. Yeah. Well, to answer that question, yes, it happened a lot of times where I mess up a dragon and then I'm like, Oh, that didn't go well. So I'll give you an example of some dragons that I have messed up or that has broken and then I do something else to make them look okay. So to give you some examples, it would be with Scarlet. Firstly, her teeth doesn't close completely like it's supposed to be on the inside. But for some reason, my measurements has been so bad that I have to press like harder on the dragon to actually close it or I have to do that and then it closes. So other than that, her teeth doesn't close or be inside completely. And also I didn't have the reason her horn is broken is actually because the cardboard bent, as you can see on that little fold there, the cardboard bent. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to cut it off because it bent and it was not supposed to bend. So. Yeah, it happens where either something bends or measurements aren't made right, that something just doesn't work. Another very good example will be Toxin Lock, because firstly, his teeth doesn't line up completely. As you can see here, it's not lined up completely, because my measurements, because of his long jaw, it really went a little bit sideways. So here, his teeth doesn't line up at all, as you guys can see. There's no lineups, so yeah, his teeth doesn't line up on this side, and this side it does, which doesn't make sense. But yeah, so that's another something that didn't go as well as I planned. Another example would be Skull Crusher. I tried to make him actually close his jaw, but he could never close his jaw ever since I made him. 
So his teeth is supposed to be inside and his underbite is supposed to go overlapping his teeth. But it's not doing that because I didn't plan him out well enough. And now this front part, which is that top tooth right over there, just doesn't go as far in as I was hoping. So yeah, or if something bad happens, like horns that bent, I usually cut off the pieces and say it broke or it's part of the design. So yeah, <laughs> not all my dragons work out as much as you think, for real. Lolbit was like a tester, so I tried to see if it would work, but honestly, her jaw doesn't work as well as it used to. Twisted Bonnie might look good from a side, but when you look at him from the front, you can see one of his jaws don't work like the other one. And some of them just never turn out as I hoped. Alright, since you were wondering, I'll show you where I usually put them. Alright, so here is where I usually stack my favorite ones, like the ones I like to use a lot, whatever. So we got Skull Crusher at the bottom, uh, Toxin Lock second, and Widow third. Mattering on how strong they are in their um, build will matter where they can be stacked or where they can be placed. Like, these ones have horns and stuff, as you know, they cannot be stacked like this, so they have to be stacked like this, you know? And uh, Ramshackle is currently on a speaker because he can't stand otherwise, he's just... Yeah, the, the stuff, the stuff. And then we also got her, she sits like that because she does. <laughs> I don't know how to say it differently, but she cannot be stacked because of the big um, star on her side. And uh, yeah, her horns, she can't re really be placed, and also because of her fins, so yeah. Then over here I have like one rack where I put all these other puppets which I also use currently. Um, so in the back there we got Amethyst, I don't know if you guys can see. We got Terror and also Entity in the back there with Amethyst. And we got these also stacked triangles on each other. Um, Foxytron is my strongest. Then we got Reaper Heart and we got Trencher. There is... I think that's Entity and then we got Terror. And then we have Bloodhorn and yes I fixed him eventually <laughs> didn't have motivation but i've done it anyways you know what so he's fixed um he's just now chilling on his head because he wants to and then we got the rest of my puppets that i don't use um which is the ones i allegedly don't use but i won't destroy them um the fnaf ones i'll obviously keep because we got a lot of fnaf ones which i don't want to destroy at all and i will make more but the ones i want to destroy currently is those ones right there because uh yeah, I just want to destroy them. I'm not going to use them, so I want to destroy them in a video. If you guys want, I can make it where Skull Crusher destroys them so you guys can see his ability to destroy puppets. So, yes, I think they're all paper, but anyways. Um, yeah, so they the rest of them that I don't use usually goes in a crate. So, that one is also going to crate. All these are going in a crate as well in the crate. So, yeah, because I need space for new puppets and... Those ones are taking my space. <laughs> They're so rude. <laughs> and besides, I'm going to remake probably be Zelda, uh, Willow Spirit, or my first one, which is that one over there. Or... I can't remember. Oh yeah, Death Striker, the protogen. So yeah, I'm going to remake some of them. So that's pretty much what I do for my puppets. Yay. Hello everyone. <sighs> I am sorry for not posting at all for some time, probably two days now, maybe three. Um, I just um, kind of lost motivation for the puppets. Um, yeah, for the puppets. I've lost motivation to fix some of them, like Bloodhorn. I threw him against the wall because he didn't want to work anymore. And now he's more broken. Which is my fault again, because I tried to fix him without motivation to try and fix him. And, uh... Yeah. The fact that people are blaming me for people who's copying me just when they destroy their dragons, because apparently 
it's okay to copy my dragons. Then people blame me in the end of the day. Which hurts me because they're the ones who copied and took my design and... Yeah. That's one of the things that made me lose motivation to make another puppet. Because no matter what puppet I make, they all get copied. Which isn't really the reason why I have lack of motivation. It's because I really want to continue this series with the puppets. I really want to make the series continue and everything. Currently, I need three more characters so I can actually make the series continue. But then I have three matching dragons I have to do with some friends because I promised I would do them with them. And, uh... That's not, that's not the reason. I'm not hating my friends for this. Like, I'm hating myself because I put too much on myself and too many promises that I can't keep. I hate doing that when I'm too kind. Oh my gosh. So I'm sorry, guys. I do have lack of motivation. I do have lack of making a puppets. And I do have, like, a 50-50 of maybe gonna quit or take a break. I don't know. I love my community so much, those who support me and everything, <sighs> but I'm trying to do my best for you guys. Just please don't pressure me when it comes to making something like an in-between of 170 or 180k dragon, because that's not going to happen. I'm going by the hundreds, because, yeah, otherwise I have to make so many puppets between the time and I'm not going to have time for myself. I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna try holding on for a little longer. Let you know when I got some purple You don't care, I move overseas Even though your sister is police You always lay one with me You can be my drug dealer boy You can be my drug dealer boy You can be, be, be my drug dealer boy It was 
filled up with about 28 pounds. Clients stacking their bills up when it be fronting the mouths. I was getting to work, and the work was worth more than Jason Worth. The perk of the work, the hooks and verses became my first priority. In other words, not working was working. I would drive out to Colorado where urban was perfect. Sure, I was nervous. I would head out with about like 50 some thou on my dash, whole route sweated out like. No doubt, I'm about right to make enough in two days. Pay too much expenses just to make a drive on Tuesday. No dude, I would tell Chase, we can't get high, do you wait? Only driving daylight, get a hotel if it's too late. Wholesale, I would move weight. No sale to a new face. No trail, got a new sale, I would do well in a crew cake. Hey. But every time I try to move on, right there, right there. Acting late. Acting late. Maybe you just want me to be as unhappy as you are.